Hi everyone. This video we are going to discuss about what is the lesson learned from our three projects. When we talk about our three projects lessons. how the bot will be behavior in environment to environment so think suppose you are completed your bot in developing environment so now you are planning to move your bot into the sat or ead or production or go live environment so in this state so what are all the changes you have to make to push the environment change the first thing you have to make sure quantify so that is very important configuration file so in usually in configuration file what are all the details will be available all the environment specific like suppose your automation is going to do particular website capturing then development and testing and production URLs must be available must to be available in your config file all the dynamic values all the dynamic sorry dynamic delays will be captured in your config what else are that in your config file if you are spying an element that element's id or dom expert will need to take up from your config file So why we need to take ID or DOM expert or control specific details in those on the file? See, what we were facing in our environment, so particular area of the website dynamically. Changing the path, dynamically changing the IDs, dynamically changing the controls. So in that case, what would be the preferred idea? You have to make sure your dynamic path. You have to make sure your ID class. Everything would be in control. File. Then, if you are moving one environment to another environment, suppose I will, I will explain something. So now your development environment has some URLs to the particular website. When you are moving production, the particular website has same, but the URL has different. When you are moving production, so don't expect the same bot has to be run in that environment. No issues will happen. Surely issues will happen because when you see, suppose 
you are going uh, to the particular you are capturing particular area of the website so when you see in production the same screen will be appear but the control id may be different your ids may differ your path or div ids may be different so what will happen bot will throw exception and bot will bot will terminate bot will simply send notification mail to your id and bot will stop the process so in that case we need to kept it from configurations so what will others so the second thing when you are moving environment or when you are moving some other protocols you have to make sure or else you have to be prepared for the Prerequisite. What is prerequisite? Suppose you are working on the dev environment in RBI. You are capturing some details from your website, but before capturing your website. if the website has menu bar status bar or zoom level percentage everything would be the prerequisite suppose you want microsoft excel that is prerequisite so every prerequisite has to be make sure in your other environment if it is not the same person you have to make sure the person if it is not the bot will not run so bot will throw exception and bot will send notification and bot will simply terminate the process the main thing you have to concentrate before moving to environment is globally delays maybe your development environment has very slow or very speed but don't expect the same speed will happen in other environment or other machine or some other time so we have to be make sure delays must be dynamic or global time out delays medium low high kind of delays so it will always be work properly wherever your bot will be deployed so this is the main thing you have to make sure on your environment changes what else other details suppose you are running in the particular environment that environment has some setrix maybe setrix setrix version has to be match with the same as your production or your environment if it is differ your bots auto logging will not work will not work suppose 
you are working on rdp based machine suppose your bot is going to deploy based on rdp based deployment how it would should work so everything will be configured and run through the control room control room will create the sessions so each and every session is a instance so it will run through your rdp machine so you have to schedule your bot in rdp session so this kind of things you have to make sure and you have to ensure it will be done okay guys let's see some more details in our future videos okay thank you